I was about to say, that's where you do the intro, fella. That's how you start a video, by the way. As of, I don't know, today, Friday, Ipswich Town have just guaranteed their ticket into Premier League football. And I don't know how to feel about it. As someone avidly born in the 2000s, I didn't watch that Ipswich team in the early 2000s with Darren Bent as they went fifth and qualify for Europe. I am not from England, so I don't watch the championship, apart from maybe Leicester City. Now, I'm getting them excited with Hungry for Cock. Yes, it's a woman. It wouldn't be a man because I don't like the gays. And I put Ipswich on the top of the English football pyramid in the Premier League themselves. And we'll be answering that sweet guided question. Can Ipswich Town survive the Premier League? No. I mean, most likely, yeah. Our plan here with Ipswich is will be akin to most career mode experience that, uh, experiments that we do. If Ipswich Town don't survive, or we don't manage to get Ipswich to survive, to stay up, I'll shove that chicken breast right up my face and getting chicken goo everywhere on my cheeks, on my nose, and probably guaranteeing myself at least a week of salmonella. I, I mean, you'll be fine uh, watching from the sidelines because this Ipswich team, what can he actually do? By the way, this is the down. This is the latest downloaded Ipswich Town team from FC24. These are the updated rating. Kiefer Moore, Chaplin, Massimo Luongo, Axel Twanzebe. Honestly, the whole range of players that prove to themselves and to people around them. They're really good in the championship, but they can't cut it in the Premier League to saved their lives. I mean, you watched Actors from Zerbe at Man United. You watched Kiefer Moore at Bournemouth. You're taking their conclusion. They're not good for the Premier League. At all! Now, Hungry for Cock will try for the best. By the way, also, what makes this challenge even more rewarding is that I'm not allowed to sign the Mexicans. Meanwhile, in an immigration detention center in Texas. Ay cabron, as Lucas called for us to go play in England. He spent all the money he gave us in latte tickets and fed prostitutes. Pablo. Tengo bad news, hermano. Prepare the tequila and los hermanos en la mafia. Vámonos a kill this guite, muchacho. So I decided to put every single player over 30 to be sold. Listen, this is not retirement home. This is not a place for neither of you. We have other plans for goalkeeper. You, you can just go to Coventry. Don Aluko, the oldest player in the team. Not anymore. He heads to Plymouth. Hopefully, he, he, he gets some food. Insert your African joke here. You knew the hand is from St. Lucia. I haven't heard of this place, meaning it doesn't exist. So you're going to Genk. The issue with not signing the Mexicans means I have to do something every Karima player deters and doesn't want to do. Manually scout the players. I mean, even Dagba being the best of them, he's on loan from PSG. Don't you like see players that are loaned out and then you just ask them to come in? Nah, because for someone like, you know, Ipswich Town, we don't really have the pool power to really attract these players to get out of loan just to sign for us. It's akin to, you know, uh, a computer nerd leaving his mom's basement for the first time and he goes to a nightclub expecting to pull every single BBL in sight. And then he realizes he, he had just spent 20, the last 20 years in his mom's basement, not really having any social interaction apart from, you know, the pizza delivery guy. Everyone with a brain, close your eyes, because Manuel Neuer just signed for Ipswich. He probably hit his head. Again. Imagine signing Manuel Neuer for free million and you just say, good price. <laughs> Hayden Jackson, 29. One year difference to, to his 30. I, he's about to enter midlife crisis, i.e. he's about to die. So you're going to... Uh, mm, not you. <laughs> he's going to save it in Italy. No animation, no confirmation or nothing. We just signed Harvey Elliott on loan, on a one-year loan, and we're paying him so much money. The same goes for Levi Colwell from a one-year loan from Chelsea. Oh yeah, they're decent, they're decent. Colwell, 76 rated, enters in place for Wolf End and Jesus Christ that name. Harvey Elliott in Chaplin's place. By the way, John, uh, do you want to check Chaplin's height for you to do you think five six actually did was no right back wanted us no right back wanted to go out on loan no right back over the age of 35 was actually available so the only option was get to the brazilian league with every single player being ai generated and signed wellington sabrão sabrão by the way he was five million he was so fucking expensive boys i'm tempted this deal is so fucking good for the level we have with ipswich is so much money to spend a long time. I have no clue, bro. I don't know if you can bring a person better than him on loan. Okay, Hoffenheim, you did it. You did it. You have my attention. I'm fucking tea this shit. Leaf Davis, goodbye. Cool, it's not like uh, my dignity of getting thrown a chicken breast into my face would uh, destroy my self esteem. Like, <laughs> there's no fucking way. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm fucked. Alexandro now relegating himself to Ipswich from Juventus, 7.2 million. And now we ha don't have money 
to even buy us dinner. Did we improve the team? I mean, kind of. We improved the defense. We still have key for more up front, meaning it's all about solidifying a good, cohesive unit. Hang on. I have a better plan. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I should have never done what I just did with the formation of fucking Ipswich Town. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Now we're fucking invincible. Invincible, I say. They said park the bus was the best option in line. Why did I do this? Slight improvement. I'm happy. Even though eight shots on target from Nottingham Forest it leaves me scared. Drug man formation is not bad. Uh, the employee formation was bad because there was no defense. But now the best defense is a good defense. Chat about my formation when we beat Man City. Fuck off, bruv. Fuck off. So realistic. So fucking realistic. We chuck fucking 10 men behind the ball, behind midfield. I don't care what happens. We beat the best team in the fucking world. I'll for now hold my silence. I won't speak anymore. Let me get this straight. So chucking nine men behind the ball and having only one attacking midfielder as our only source of attacking option. It's a 3-3 three, three game. Honestly, just doing these formations break the whole game, I suppose. Hasn't been a bad start at all. Two defeats, a dr two draws and a win. And the win was against Man City, by the way. Yeah, these, this thing you do about trying to invent formations is not working. They should, though. Why, why am I doing a press conference? Alright, this is the last test of this <sighs> beautiful mind of formation that we made. Alright, with well, the draw against West Ham, now we're gonna have the last test. It's until we get a defeat, so don't be surprised if we go all the way undefeated until the end of the season. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is the last time we're using this formation, fuck off. I mean, anything that could be worse could be worse. I'm still happy that no relegation has been threatened upon us. These two games are gonna send us back to where we truly belong in the championship. So fucking close. So far. And, and the biggest question was how, how, not even how we scored a goal, was that Man United signed Morata. They have Hoyland. Why you need a walking advertisement for the offside trap? Okay. Uh, 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 okay. I should be fine about that. I don't know why I'm worried, but I should be fine. And now we concede four to Wolves. This team does not fucking make sense. What? <laughs> all I did was switch the game plan to counter-attack. Not even that different from, from gagging pressing. And yet, all that's needed is just one tactical change of mind. And we batter Brighton 3-0 at the Amex. What the fuck? I'm gonna speedrun the whole shit of December. So pray with, with all our fucking forces that we don't get sacked. That's one defeat. Two out of two. We beat Brentford. That's, that's three points. That, that's all I needed. That's all I fucking needed. We beat Brentford. That, that's all I fucking required. Beat Chelsea. Damn! Boy Villa, right? Lost to Leeds. And then we're gonna be fucking pumped by Man City now. A 3 2, though. That's even not that bad. We sleep in January, still outside the relegation zone. I don't know how. We have three points more than Nottingham Forest, four more than Aston Villa, and all we need now is to turn around and form, transform those draws into fucking wins. Boom! Fucking hell. And a crucial one against Aston Villa as well, who are fighting against relegation like us. How do we go from beating Aston Villa to then getting completely destroyed by Leeds? It, it's it's baffling. These are the draws that we should be transforming into wins. Hurst scores in the 84th minute. But now we give the chances to Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa to leapfrog around us. Oh, that's not what we fucking need. We need a surprise winner for our over Arsenal and then the Premier League to get shut down so we can win the trophy. No, what am I saying? Why? 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 If the Fulham don't score, then why the fuck we don't? These are the matches that make me fucking want to stick the energy drink can in my fucking bum. I know we're in the relegation zone now. Not even Forest even win as well. 19th, two points behind Forest, and even Brentford leapfrogged us. We're only above Everton now. 
We need to fucking run in April to somehow to stop us from getting relegated in this shit. And when we're facing Liverpool, Man United, and Newcastle all the way from home, and even have a match against Chelsea in there, you know it's gonna be bad. Just risk it all, fun. Should I simulate everything manually, or should I just go for it and risk it, risk it all? Come on, Ipswich, make me proud. Oh, no. Fuck. Fuck. We're going down. We're going down. Hope. 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 Oh, no. Please, please. Beat Leicester. Beat Leicester. Beat Leicester. Beat Le <sighs> So, if we don't win the next match against Forrest, who are already safe, by the way, we're down. We're automatically down. We have Forrest and Everton as well. Everton already down. Who the fuck gives a shit? And then the last match against Tottenham. I doubt we even reached the last match against Tottenham fighting for relegation. I think we're already going to be down. We, we can't just start the season with beating Man City and then having it all this fucking shit all thrown at us. Sure, this is this is what's supposed to happen. I doubt we even have any chance of stay, staying up now. Five points to Brentford. If we want any fucking chance of even reaching the final day, even fighting for something, it, it's this team. I'm gonna do one last switch. Counter attack has me fucked up, but I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna put Chaplin up front instead of Kiefer Moore, but Kiefer Moore does have a four. Plus upgrade. Fuck it. Be more attacking. Both Brennan Johnson and Broadhead are going to be chucking the wing instead of midfield. It's time, boys. Don't let me down. Just don't let me down. You let me down. I'm going to have to chuck a fucking chicken breast in my face. As the night draws into a close, Lucas opens the fridge in his house to find a two-week-old chicken breast with the stench of Mark Cucurella. The images that follow, only the strong can watch, and only the mentally deranged can enjoy. Isaac, quickly, there is the smooth part, the part that you usually like to eat, then the... <laughs> Why are you gonna slap yourself with it, not just rub it in? Okay, fine. Come on.